Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. We are on another Just Fun tour, and we are going to be touring the island of Barfberg. Now, do not let this name throw you off. It is an odd name for what I think is going to be an amazing island. This is a fully functioning tropical zoo. Um, and when I say fully functioning, I mean this is an actual like zoo experience like you would have if you just went to the zoo. Now coming right out of the airport, you have to obviously get your tickets. So they have ticket booths all set up. They have employees in their little uniforms. I mean, how cute is that? While Poppy goes ahead and gets her ticket to enter into the zoo though, perfect time to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Over here, it looks like there is some lockers, I guess, if you need to leave some of your belongings and some informational pamphlets. But I think we're good. We got our ticket. Let's head in. Everything is completely mapped out for you. Like, there's no having to find anywhere. It's all signed out for you. Or pathed out and with signage, I should say. Number one exhibit, we have the turtles. This is so cute. There's the little turtle house over here. All the information is sitting here so you can read and learn about the animals that you get to see. Of course, the actual turtles are there. We'll keep heading over. There's more information. And look it! There are sea lions on the beach. They have little fish right beside them. They all look super, super happy. There's information. Did you know about the sea lion? That's so much fun. Let's head up. A little area to sit and have a break. It's telling us to go over here. There is... Did you know? And it's showing a picture of an elephant. And I don't see an elephant, but I see a house, which leads me to believe they are using their residence as the actual exhibit at the zoo. Now this elephant is in their home, so I guess we don't get to see the elephant on this trip, but that's too funny. Tell me that is not the most clever thing that you have ever seen. I've been to some zoo islands before, but this is amazing. I love that idea. Over here, moving along on our tour, we have the peacocks and Barfberg Zoo signage. I love it. You can be a little peacock. But uh, look at that. They have a creator code or a pattern for the tails and then they turn the hat into the head. That's cute. And the excess feathers floating around on the ground. I love that. The sign says come over here. And we have the panda exhibit all the pandas down below in their little enclosure with all the bamboo and it says quiet please mating season okay well we won't stay too long then with the pandas we'll let them do what they need to do or need to do but there's of course more information if you need to know some panda merch if you feel the need to purchase and over here this looks like the red panda at first I thought it was a fox, but no, that's definitely a red panda with the bamboo. Um, I just watched the <laughs> movie Turning Red, which is the only reason I know what that is right now, but that's still really cool. The pandas beside the pandas, more information. Following our signs on this guided tour. We'll head over in this direction. And there are, look at the frogs and the toads. I love that. I'm just in awe of this. This is so clever and so cute. Oh, we're coming into the exotic bird section. There you have the zookeeper with their bucket. And look at the bird customs. You have parrots and toucans and they're so brightly colored. And you have the do not touch because that is spiders. So we're going to leave that exhibit alone. Oh, no. <laughs> There, there is definitely an ape in this exhibit. So they are, I was right there, using the actual residence as the attractions at the zoo. This is a bam, a baboon, I believe, I think. But look at him go. He's just in his little enclosure. Okay, too cute. 
following the signs. More Barfberg Zoo and shark merch. Showtimes in the Splash Zone. Okay, they have an actual like water show and attraction, kind of like a SeaWorld type thing. Look at the seats all lined up along the top. In the back, you can see the trainer with the bucket and the ball. What's down here? Face painting. Oh, you can come and get your face painted at the zoo. Over here with this employee. And then over here, draw your favorite animal and win a prize. So they have a little section set up. And look at the kids' art. How cute. And then they have a little show sitting here. I don't know if it's like a puppet show or like an educational show. But look at the seating. Okay, this, this is amazing. By far the best zoo I've ever come across. There's a petting zoo. The little machine. I love all the little employees with their little matching outfits everywhere. You have the pigs over here. Bunnies. You have the donkey inside the barn. The little bag of feed. Okay, that is just too cute. Let's head up here. Oh, there's the shark for the live show. So yeah, he's not ready to perform yet. Oh, there's even food by the bucket and the trainer. Like, it's so detailed. It is literally a real zoo. Oh, and we have another villager slash attraction over here. That is Canberra the koala. And she is... um enjoying her little enclosure her little house i love that they are using the actual villagers like the residents as the ex oh look she's looking at us she sees us <laughs> and then of course information on the koala oh i see flamingos over there i'm sure we'll get to that i'm i'm just in awe of how smart it is to use the actual villagers as the exhibit too cute over here you have a little break area snack vendor you can sit and enjoy and down there you can watch looks like the zoo staff and veterinarians by the museum checking everything out Ooh, they have a vampire squid I have yet to catch one of those that's amazing let's keep going through our guided tour oh look you can look through here and you can see they have some sort of goose or geese in this exhibit sitting on the ledge a nice area to take a break there's a map of the zoo area that's cute there's a bunch of bananas here and a sign telling us to go this way did you know information on a rhinoceros i see i see somebody i see bananas I'm going to go out of my way and say gorilla. Yes, there is a gorilla villager that is part of the attraction. He's in his little enclosure here. Look at all the bananas. This is so fun. And of course, some gorilla merch over here. I love that. That's. I'm sorry. This is just amazing. I'm having a great time. Oh, scorpions. Do not touch has the sign for do not touch the scorpions in this bug exhibit more employees we're kind of matching our outfits i love that the little shed okay it does bring you over here to where the flamingos are so you've got like a little tropical lagoon going on all the flamingos at their exhibit you can sit here relax it looks like oh there's all sorts of different food stalls so this is like a food court okay I like that. And then you can come down here and look. Oh, there's some. Look at. Oh, what are they called? Horseshoe crabs. That's the word I'm looking for. There's horseshoe crabs over here. You can stop and look at. I'm not. It says do not touch. I don't know. It, that looks like some sort of snake to me. All coiled up. Maybe. Maybe like a rattlesnake. I don't know. It has do not touch. So. Probably something poisonous. The big king crab is sitting over there. Going through. Photo booth and snack machine. 
Just like a real zoo, this really is. And I can't get over how well mapped out it is. Okay, there's beavers. And ducks over here. But look at the little beavers in their little wooden enclosure. They've got the logs all cut down. I'm in awe of this. Then you can stop over here and see the ducks. You can just kind of walk over. There's not anywhere to go from here, but the ducks, how cute. Oh, did I get myself stuck? Because that would be not smart. There we go. Over here, you have your butterfly and bug exhibit. You can read up on all the different varieties of butterflies. Come in and check them out. And work your way through. Another snack cart. More information and maps. I love that. We have to go up. And walk around. Ooh, look, there's bats. Bats hanging in the cave. I love the customs they have on here. I mean, if you're as in awe like I am, I mean, this is amazing. I see bear tracks so this is obviously a bear cave yes i see the bear sitting up top he's got his pot full of honey how cute is this the bats in the cave though that's clever and the bear tracks on the ground oh there's something that eats meat over there we are still heading in this direction oh owls there's all sorts of owls in this enclosure this is so clever and so well mapped out. My gosh, look at that. That's amazing. We're over here. Another area. There's a frog sitting over there. And a bunch of tiger merch and an employee. So I'm guessing this is a tiger enclosure but i'm not seeing the tiger so i'm guessing the tiger is inside at the moment which is typical of an actual zoo you're not always guaranteed to see the animals in the exhibit sometimes they're inside doing their thing and that is the case here that's funny but i'm guessing this is a tiger just based on the signage you gotta follow this oh it's it's frozen over here we're coming into the cold section. Okay. They have the confetti machines blowing behind and it's making it look like snow. That's so funny. Oh, there's the gorilla. Penguins. Okay. So obviously one of the penguins in the game lives in this enclosure because there's a house there. We may not be able to see that penguin because they're inside, but we can see all these penguins. That is amazing. They're all standing with the ice and the snow and the mounds. That's fun. Just penguins everywhere. So smart. Oh, and you can get penguin merch and frozen treats in the penguin area. Following our signs. More maps. Informational booklets. I like that. <gasps> Look at the little groundhogs. I think that's groundhogs. Oh, and a kangaroo. But look at the little groundhogs or marmots, I think they're called. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I love that little exhibit. More information. Then you come over here to the kangaroo <laughs> exhibit and she has a baby. That's amazing. Did you know? Oh, there's a little hippopotamus inside what looks like a glass cage so we won't go too close to the hippo walk through there's safari tours so you can get a tour of the safari and go on look at the little safari trucks they made barfberg safari such an odd name for such an amazing island i do have to say oh all the ground birds like your pheasants and quail they have little nests with eggs. This is amazing. Meet the animals. So you can come. Oh, this is where they talk to you and do a little show and, and educate you on the animals. So obviously they're discussing a parrot today. This is too fun. This is like a real zoo. 
Oh, we have all the zebras over here in their little enclosure. Of course, information. And we're gonna head back up. More maps. Oh, you can get a better view of the zebra pen. More merch. There's merch everywhere. More information. Did you know? What is this? Oh, porcupines! How cute! Little porcupines in their little enclosure. They're all out today. And what is this? A lion. I'm only guessing because they're obviously in their house. But that's a lot of bones down there. And that's a lion on the sign for the did you know. I wonder if they did all their signage themselves. This is amazing. Look at the customs on the ground. With all the bones and the meat in the lion enclosure. I wish the lion was out. But again, like every other zoo, never a guarantee. Just means I have to come again to get the full experience. Then you come over here and you can take pictures with the kids. <laughs> Get the full zoo experience. There's a gift shop over here. You can buy toys and clothes and stuff to remember your trip to the Barfberg Zoo gift shop, obviously. And then you come to the end of the line that says, we hope you enjoyed your visit. And I'm guessing this is a ladder. Yes, yeah, so you can get down and go back out. Now we're in a dream, so that ladder does me no good, which means I get to go through the zoo again and check out all the exhibits. And I'm okay with that because this was such a fun experience. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. I had an absolute blast going through here. It's so clever and so well put together and so different from anything you see on any other island. I just had a great time. Like every other trip that we do or dream tour that we do, I will put the dream address in the description. So I highly recommend you come and check it out. It's just such a fun island, such a neat experience. It's super different. I loved it. I hope you did too. I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on this tour with me for liking and subscribing, and I will definitely be back with more Animal Crossing videos.